there is no doubt that this is a grand project. The new Suez Canal includes a newly dug 35-kilometer waterway alongside the original 190-kilometer Suez Canal, plus a 37-kilometer expansion and deepening of some parts of the old one. And Egypt makes no secret that it places a big bet on it. At the lavish opening ceremony last week, President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi held the new canal as a historic feat needed to revive the country's ailing economy after years of unrest. The picture looks upbeat. The waterway reduces waiting and crossing time and allows huge ships with drafts up to 66 feet to pass through. That means more vessels can use the Suez Canal, and in turn, Egypt can collect more revenues. Besides, if all goes as planned, investments worth billions of dollars will flow in, and thousands of jobs will be created. But if the target of raising annual revenues from 5 billion U.S. dollars last year to 13.23 billion in 2023 is to be met, the number of ships using the canal on a daily basis has to double from 49 to 97. It's a tall order, some analysts say, citing a slack global trade. And investors seem to be unimpressed, at least for now. Following the opening of the canal, Egyptian stock exchanges began trading this week on a sharp decline. Today was the first sitting of the stock market after the opening of the new Suez Canal. The trading volume is less than average. Before the opening of the new canal, the trading volume was big as everyone was waiting for the launch of the canal. And when the day did come. Some went on to a selling spree to reap profits. That's partly why the exchange turned red today. It remains to be seen whether the new national pride project can live up to expectations.